All right, here I am trotting along uh, the slopes of Amethyst Mountain, and well, what's that up there? That, it's the hiking boot. Just like in the old game, we've now got the hiking boot and a lot more things you can find here. And these are all part of the new achievement system that is available now in Wolf Quest Anniversary Edition version 1.0.7H. And you know, it's also cool about this, I can not only find it, but I can pick it up and earn the achievement. Actually, this is just one out of, what do we got here? One out of eight collectible objects in order to earn this one achievement, the Amethyst Scavenger Hunt. Um, but I can pick that up and I can carry it around just like a meat chunk or a carcass and bring it and put it wherever I want and uh, make a little stash of them or whatever I want to do. Oh, and don't worry. This is not where the boot actually is in Amethyst. This is just a little test to show you how it worked. But if you recognize where this is, don't expect to go there and find it. It won't be there. It'll be elsewhere. So that, again, is one of eight collectible objects in Amethyst. There's also eight collectible objects in Slough Creek. And then on both Amethyst and Slough Creek, there's six places you can visit to unlock two other achievements. And that's not all. There's a whole bunch of achievements. We have almost 50 achievements now in the game. And um, we've grouped them into a number of categories. So there's kind of the core things you earn just by playing the, uh, the main quests. Then there's going above and beyond, which are additional things that you can do. Um, some of, most of these are shown what the requirement is, but there are a number of hidden achievements uh, that you might stumble upon. There's these exploration achievements, and there's some that are devoted to the uh, life arc of your wolf that you can earn by playing through year after year and uh, growing older. And then right now, we only have one multiplayer achievement. We are going to add more um, when Snow Creek multiplayer comes out, but at the moment, that's the only one. And so remember, as this note down here at the bottom says, um, all these achievements are single player only, except those in the multiplayer category. As I said in the last devlog, all these gorgeous achievement icons were created by Jesse Clary, also known as Loach, on uh, WolfQuest social media. And if you love them as much as I do, you might want to head on over to our merch store because we've, we've made some designs with them. Just a handful of icons yet, but we'll be adding more. WolfQuest bites all over or WolfQuest we'll morning face, and you can decide which is your morning face. Soulmates has got to be one of my favorites. We'll be adding more in the coming weeks, but let us know if there's a particular icon that you'd like to see on the merch. Okay, going back to the game. So I hope that all these achievements will offer some new things to do, new goals to uh, tackle, and new ways to think about how you play the game. That's the main new feature in this patch, 107H, but there are a few other things that uh, we think are kind of helpful. We know that uh, some players have an awful lot of wolves, and so we finally added a way to browse through them more efficiently. So if you want to hide the wolves that have uh, passed on, you can deselect that. If you want to see only your iron wolves, you can select that. And then if you're looking for a certain wolf, you can just type it in here and notice this uh, start searching right away. So type L, it shows all the wolves that begin with L, L O narrows it down. Obviously that narrows it down farther. You can also search by pack name. So if you finish Slough Creek, um, you have a family snapshot for a family pack, you can search for that. And here you'll see then just the wolves in that pack. These are not my wolves. I did not name a pup worthless. We get a lot of bug reports, and so those end up being the, the wolves in my wolves carousel. So Avery is uh, one of the parents, and these are pups, but all belonging to that pack, um, which is actually called Eclipse. We've also got a couple things here on the load and uh, save a game and load a save game. Um, first of all, there's a new filter method. So if you want to see saves with... Um, only Iron Wolves in them, you can choose that. If you want to see saves only on Amethyst or Slough Creek maps, you can do that, or, or uh, Lost River. You want to see only single player and multiplayer games, or you can search for games that only have a certain wolf in them, or just a game name. So you can search that, hide that, and then you've just got this, the filtered list of games there. Um, and then another thing here is, again, I get a lot of games from bug reports that I have to load in and test, and it's tedious to delete those one by one in the game. 
it's more efficient to go out into Windows Explorer or the Finder and delete those there. But then the new cloud sync system doesn't know that those have been deleted and so it pulls them down from the server again. So kind of a mess. So we've added this multi-delete option. So you can click that and then click, 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 click all the saves you want to delete and delete them and uh, the game knows they've been deleted so that gets updated right away in the cloud and everything stays in sync. So that's what's new in patch 107H out now, along with a whole bunch of other improvements and bug fixes, which you can see in the patch notes below. So get out there and start looking for that boot. Mm -hmm.